I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, you know, flexing on me, my attorney gon' call it collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success is only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. This is the Optic Pre-Show. Optic Pre-Show. We don't have a jingle or a tune. But we tune. do have a trophy. But we do have a brand new trophy just in time. Well, actually, we should have had this on stage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's from Major One? That's from Major One. Was yeah. it January, February? Like f- four months Four months old. Yeah. Right? How long has it been? Four months? No, five months. Longer? <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> Hey, better late than never. And look, we had to make this one ourselves, so it's good. It took a while to find a perfectly cylindrical rock. Africa looks accurate. And then the rock had to have a hollow center with emeralds. And this is what this is. That's why it took so long. Okay. Um, What? The rock alone, the rarity, the VS on the the crystals on the inside, on the 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 emeralds. Uh, Yeah. Certified by Gia. Okay. The Gem Institute or something. Gemologist Association. Yeah, look, I, they, some people says it cost X amount of money. I think it's priceless because it brought me so much joy and uh, it brought all of my friends joy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck yeah. Bon day. <laughs> bon day. Anyway, welcome, <laughs> uh, everybody. We are currently um, traveling back and forth from L.A. to here. So I've been in L.A. but flew in just to do the live, possibly live um, show. You flew in just for this. Yeah, man. Wow. Because today today's Friday. Right. Of Correct. next week. Correct. So, yeah. So, I've already been here in the Got future. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Possibly live, as uh, we keep it. on saying. Anyway, yeah. uh, this episode is brought to you and presented by Dickie's Barbecue. Shout out to them with the Shout incredible, incredible drink. Uh, it was really good. We had some. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're going to have some. Uh, for the for the tailgate, but anyway, long story short, Oakley is also the sponsor. Uh, uh, big time, are you coming to champs? Uh, I will not be at champs. You will not be at champs. I will not be there. I will be watching though. I was going to do a watch party for it, but I did not realize I booked a trip home to Arkansas. What's, the weekend uh, what's, of champs. what's, what's back home? Well, we were going to go for my birthday, <laughs> July fourth, but we all had COVID, <laughs> so uh, we rescheduled for a month later. Cool. There's parties, barbecues. Like- yeah, brother's coming with his kids and all that. We're gonna get a little bouncy oh, house. You gonna get a little baby fever? Yeah, maybe That's a little it. bit. You gonna get a little baby fever? <laughs> Might already have it. No. Yeah. Nah, like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Oh Damn, man. Bro. Anyway, uh, biggest week, uh, biggest weekend, biggest tournament of the year. Uh, the last tournament of the entire season uh this weekend we say farewell and goodbye adios to uh vanguard wow miss it you gonna miss it i'm gonna miss it are you it was a good season yeah you had a good season no not me I'm no i'm saying like playing i mean oh it was fun like, i had At a good season point. i didn't realize how much you played until like i think ray told me you were grinding that but you were like top 250 in yeah, the that's was... great that's some, like serious dedication it was fun for like, it was fun. I was yeah. having a good time, and then it like that died down. But cool. I had a good season. I, I mean, I've been playing the most uh, Warzone that I've yeah, ever I do played. Have fun playing that though. Yeah, I that, do. I that uh, what's it called? Uh, Fortress, Fortress Keep? Keep. Yeah, King's Landing. Mm-hmm. Fucking mega fun. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, the final tournament. As we just said, twenty-two uh, league season, top eight teams, two point five million dollars in prize money. Uh, big timer. What is what is one non-financial advice that you would give one of the winners who is going to take home close to four hundred thousand? Right. Non-financial advice. Yeah. Um, set aside. Set aside the tax money. Set aside the tax because you think you get four hundred k. You really got about two seventy five, mm. three hundred maybe. And, tops, don't, so. don't spend it until you pay the tax. Don't man. spend it. Yep. Don't or, buy a car. Cars are so stupid, bro. Just don't, don't buy a car. Don't buy a car, <laughs> man. It's so dumb. Is that what you did? I bought lots of cars. You bought a lot. Of <laughs> Will cars. has had a lot of cars. Yeah. <laughs> worst, worst financial mistakes ever. You just unless you buy a really nice, you either got to buy a really nice car mm-hmm. or don't buy a car. Okay. You buy a car that goes up in value, then you'll be you'll okay. Be good. But not, not but no. like the mid range luxury, like hundred k to hundred and fifty. That shit. That's all I sold I my got. Tesla no. the other. I sold my Tesla the other week. Got like half, maybe. What? Yeah. Well, Maybe you, like forty percent. Do the will bargain? You didn't hit him with the numbers. And no, that was crunch? a good deal. The first guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was insulted by the first offer, bro. What was the first offer? Like thirty-eight. 
Damn. Whoa. Were yeah. you like, I literally just walked out. I was like, all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, where are you going? I was like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I love. Second offer, it was it was okay. It was good. Yeah. So. so what what are you driving now? Um, it's, I mean, those, it's, it's going to be one of the. I don't have a car right now. Oh. I actually don't have a license. I probably shouldn't have drove here. <laughs> 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 my license expired on my birthday, but uh, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So if Will doesn't have a car, I don't need to have a car. Yeah. There you go. Hit the exactly. Uber. Formal does have a car. Here, <laughs> I don't need one. It'd be more of a, it'd be more of an annoyance to have one here right now. Yep. Yeah, I have to be parking it everywhere. I have to be like worrying about it. And at yeah. least here, like you can now you could be like, hey, can you go get me this shit? It's a lot easier. Yeah, and I can just boss people around the whole time. Yeah, just don't send me for dip anymore because I'll bring you back the wrong shit again. Yeah, frisbee. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you pouches or a long cut. He gave me a frisbee. He gave me the world's largest dip can. Bro, I was like, <laughs> he's like, yo, can you give me some dip? I'm like, yeah, for sure. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get my boys back for 100. Give me that fucking big one right there. <laughs> He just it, picked the biggest one. Yeah, it was all manure in there, or what do you call that? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, it's not manure. It's it's Walk fucking uh, it's mulch. Dirt. It's literal. It's literal <laughs> yeah, mulch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 it is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, he needed the little pillows and shit. That's what he needed. <laughs> yeah. Pouches. It's like yeah. my baby. Hey, I remember I the first time I did that as a kid with my boys. Yeah. Ugh, come on. I mean, it's not a podcast. Dude, a dude thing, you right? are the fucking worst with that shit. Today, <laughs> today, 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 maniac yeah, did everyone it. Everyone says that to me. Today, maniac did it. We called them embos. Really? Well, I called them embos. Uh, uh, any non non financial <laughs> advice that you want to give? Uh, obviously, you winning. You know, winning so much. Just put it all in on black. All right. See what happens. I like that one. Fuck like happens. That one. Let it prize roll. Pull yourself. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> there you go. Or not. Uh, what, what would you tell? David and try to win it again next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I don't know. Have some fun with some of it. This yeah. My. My non finance. This is not financial advice. I'm just saying, live a little, reward yourself. You're, you're, so you'll time. start to resent yourself. What did Shaq say? He would take a piece of paper. Shaq said that the wealthy people, when you get a check, you rip it in half, and then you don't need you that for this, and you hang on to this. But the really wealthy people, they'll take this half. They only spend this. They save all this after yeah. taxes, so you get this. That's like to my have dad fun right with. There. That's what my dad does. <laughs> That's your have fun money. Sure. That's the future money. Have mm -hmm. a lot of fun later. Little fun now, a <laughs> lot of fun later. Yeah. So, and you know what? But what if you don't make it till later? Yeah, that's well. There's, there's, that's there's, true. There's, it's got to be a balance. There's right? a mi million ways that you can spin this. Oh, Good luck putting that scrap yeah, together. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck that up. Quick side note: Did you guys play the lottery? I did. I did play the lottery. I won two dollars. Did you? I'll take that look. Okay. I'm getting close. Yeah. I bought. So how many? How many did you buy? How many tickets? Oh, I didn't. I learned my lesson in Illinois. I just put twenty. Wish the best. Remember, did, we went, the last time it got big, we went and bought like oh, $100, $200 dollars worth of tickets. Like, not even a fucking cent back. <laughs> yeah. That's insane, man. Uh, we really raised our chances. Did you play it? No, uh, right? I, I played uh, $60 oh, worth. Shit. Damn. Yeah, you, yeah. I don't know how much them? I want, but I, huh? You won some? I won some for sure, because I got the I got the money ball uh, like three <laughs> times. But go scan it. You can. I mean, it's, it's good. I'll scan it when I get back. I went to the smoke shop and he was watching me scan my shit. I'm like, yeah, you crazy. <laughs> you know, did you, did you, did you <laughs> see who won it? No, wait, did they show themselves? Yes. No, I mean, I don't know if they showed themselves, but it was a dude out of uh, uh, out of uh, Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. This Plains. What? That's yeah, crazy, where you bro. used to go buy Chronic from that one dude. Bro, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like one. Like, you wasn't even there. He was in Arlington Heights. No, nah, he was in a... No, oh, see, I, you're about to <laughs> yeah, dry you're snitch. The cops, yeah. yeah, dry snitch. <laughs> anyway, I was just kidding. Uh, but, but yeah, like on Tui Avenue, like that's where my dad used to work. Like by there, my dad used to work by there. Crazy. $1.3 billion. Mm. Okay, so, so like, let's say what? even after they take uh, the, they take taxes out, you still walk in one with seven minimum. And that shit would ruin your life. Yeah. Not mine. Dude, I'm not Unpopular lie. take. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, bro. I'd be, I'd be paranoid as fuck if I was that guy. Dude. Especially because he got instantly blasted to the media and shown who it is. Yeah, yeah, that right life, away. Bro. His life has instantly changed, bro. Like, some for the good, but mostly... That's what I'm saying, bro. I feel like he's walking around thinking everyone's trying to get a piece now. But think for about the rest, the rest of his life. Of his life. I, can I, I tell it. you something? I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> okay. How many times do you get recognized in public when you go out? <clears throat> I don't know. More than a few. Okay, more than a few. Think about how much work you had to do in order for that to be a reality. This little moment in time of him being on fucking the news. Who the fuck even watches the news? <laughs> yeah, it would only last. You're not going to get recognized. That he won the Powerball. Yeah, but you yeah. should take care of everybody yeah. in your family. Yeah, but what if like, back. I don't know. 
it's it'd be cool be if you're cool with your family. His whole family. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like now, now people start coming I mean, out the woodwork. I'm your cousin, bro. Just like, break them off. Just break them off. Bro. Right. I don't know how we got to this fucking point. We started. How much would you spend for the two point five? Yeah, two point five prize money. Yeah. So that's how we ended. Anyway, okay. uh, there's gonna be beta access to Modern Warfare uh, Two given to all the attendees, including me, uh, who I will definitely be playing. Even though I can play it right now. You want cop, cop me a code? Yeah, I got you on the yeah, code. You, you can play me? it right now. That us? Yeah, bro. Illy, all their accounts have it. Oh, sure. Have what? Yeah, because uh, it's too. like they just yeah. fucking did it from the back end. They don't even want to play it. They literally, I'm not playing that shit. I don't want to play it. That like, bad. Can I get it on the back end? That's what <laughs> I said. Can I make some fucking videos? <laughs> Ever heard of the fucking? You ever heard of YouTube and what we do? Uh, anyway, there's also an all-star game. Uh, first and second team revealed on Thursday, which uh, was yesterday. So I hope that you guys are happy about the teams. And what do you guys think about the teams? Leave it in the chat right now. Uh, anyway, let's uh, kick it over to the tailgate. I am hungry and I want to eat some of this incredibly, incredibly good Dickie's Barbecue. Thank you for throwing it over to us at the tailgate party brought Ooh. to you by Dickie's. And let me tell mm. you guys something right now, okay? Right now, fans... We'll be able to use code GREENWALL to get $5 off any $25 order or more during the entire month of August. The bonus offers include uh, all that exclusive for days during Call of Duty Champs, August 4th through 7. Fans can get a brisket sandwich, a side, and a big yellow cup starting at only $9.99 or... Fans can get pulled pork sandwich and a big yellow cup starting only at $6.99. want to thank Dickies, obviously, for sponsoring this podcast or this segment of the tailgate yeah, party. Yeah, not going to lie, it's the, pretty good. I mean, you've already eaten. House, you've already. You've housed, and I'm not even eating it with the sauce. Chiefing it off camera. Trying to fake diet again. I am on a diet right now, but because this is work, I almost feel like <laughs> optic is more important. That's how I'm feeling. That's optic I'm is feeling. more important than how good I look. Well, I just feel give, like they support me, us. I got to support them. Give me one of those plates. Can't man. say no to this. Oh, now you want one. Oh, yeah, well, it's mm -hmm. for the camera. You it's know? for the camera. Gotta, gotta, so, gotta uh, eat. That's... What's gotta happening? eat. Gotta eat. Gotta you know? eat. <laughs> Thank you, Dickies. <laughs> shout out, shout out, Dickies. This is uh, this is becoming one of my favorite segments on anything that we've ever done. Uh, oh, yeah. Super excited Dickies, about if that. If you want to sponsor every single <laughs> tailgate piece of content, in the future, uh, oh, every single piece of content, a flycast spot. Hey, this I'll be is here. this is the process. We Call of Duty. We win championships. We win COD champs. Sponsored by Dickies. Here's the deal. <laughs> Here's the deal. Oh, okay? yeah. Look at mm. that. That's how I do things. Oh, you be dunking. Wow. I just, I just oh, dunk you be dunking. I just dunk the root it, right? Champs is in uh, Los Angeles. We are currently in Los Angeles in this possibly live segment of the uh, tailgate party. You say we're possibly in Los Angeles? Possibly. Are you coming? Yeah. To Am Champs? I coming? Yeah. We are in LA. Are you coming? Yeah, but are you coming to Champs? Or are you in Champs with us right now? I have two tattoo appointments I got to cancel, but yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I guess I can make time. She knows. Dude, I we would be doing this outside, but in Texas it is hotter than shit. Was it outside. your idea not to do it outside? No, I think it was everyone's common sense to not do it do it outside. We were actually gonna go. I was disappointed this wasn't outside. What? It's like hundred and nine degrees. I'm an outdoors guy now. It's eighty nine. Okay. Eighty nine. Okay, chill out there. Yeah, it was hundred. It's like a good day. Well, uh, yeah. Eighty nine being a good day. It is the first time in history. Of the of the of the United Republic of Texas, that it has been over a hundred degrees thirty days in a row. Bro, I swear it's Dude. every single day. Anytime I look at the the weather app, it's just hundred 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 one oh three. Dude, you go outside and your skin is like burning. Joe <laughs> burning. Byron, Joe Byron needs to do something about Joe this global. This, needs to do something about this this global warming. <laughs> okay, because it's becoming a thing. Um, <laughs> We're going to tip, typical tailgate talk. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, so, Bud sorry. lights in your hand. <laughs> Joe Byron. Joe Byron got to fix this. I, I will say, excited. Obviously, this is our, what, fucking 10th champs that we're, that, that we're making an appearance at. Um, Damon, obviously, world-renowned, three-ring king. Mm. Um, when, when, uh, who, who else Locked. has three rings now? Uh, uh, Clay? Just Clay, right? Clay and Krim? Clay and Krim. Clay and Krim. Yeah. Yeah, Clay and Krim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, who cares if it was online? Like, it counts, obviously. Like, the, I the, do. the paper hit. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, when I don't they, know, when they hit those milestones, Damon, <laughs> did you get an itch to say, fuck this, I need to be four rings? Yeah, but then they, they did online, so. Ooh. I still have, like, one more year, you know? Yeah. Then so, maybe. So the three and a half rings. Maybe, like, 2024? 
You know, Treyarch's game? You think there'd be <laughs> yeah, the slightest right. possibility you Actually, play again? <laughs> if anyone could come back, it would be Damon. Yeah, that's what like, I was... You knew as soon as Will retired, he was gone for like he was never going to. I'm surprised he's touching a controller again. Yeah, like wow. when Seth retires, he's going to be in GTA <laughs> immediately. Like he's not even going to play COD for a you little. You think bit. GTA? He's going to play. He's not going to play COD. Wait, He'll probably GTA? do like Fall Guys with all the boys. Yeah, no, he's going to be playing like weird shit. He's going to be like I think I think Seth's going to go crazy full content. I hope so. Um, D- Damon's going to Damon's been playing Rust for two years. And so no, whatever Damon just grinds like, it's like attack, unpopular it's, it's, it's games. It's attack like, from Tarkov or Escape from Tarkov. Mm-hmm. He was grinding Halo, playing mm-hmm. attorneys, and yeah. I'm waiting for the new COD. I'm just saying. I don't know. Right now, everything's so stale. Have you played it? Mm-mm. Dude, ask Illy. Illy will give you his account to play. He offered it to me to play the new COD. I feel like you shouldn't be saying this on camera. I don't give a fuck what. <laughs> what, 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 what. What's going to happen? What, what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Well, no, I'm not challenging anyone. I'm just saying. Can we not play the game? It's supposed okay. to be Modern Warfare 2, right? Modern Warfare 2 times 2x squared now, 2. I don't hmm. want you guys to be disappointed, but the amount of disappointment I've had to endure with Halo, I just want... You oh, and Modern Warfare 2 is coming out. Let's Wait, go. No, it's not it's Modern Warfare 2, sick. though. It's not Modern Warfare. It's Modern Warfare 2019 2. Yeah, it's Modern Warfare 22. It's Modern Warfare 2. So we're off to get X2 started. To square piss all 22. the COD community yeah, You're already pissing us yeah. off. <laughs> it's a good no, job. As long as it's not as good as the original. If you have, <laughs> if you have a problem with people masticating into the mic, uh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I'm a little worried with what I was. I was masticate? literally You've right here eating. No, I, I, masticate. I don't know what that no, means, but I, think I mean, I no one's idea. like <laughs> slapping their lips around and chomping. Like that? Yeah. That what got you? I need to grow up. Uh, it's like, why was that so funny to me? <laughs> I think it was that the quick delivery on that. The first match. Oh, actually, let's finish up. I mean, no, finish. You finish your rib, and I'll come back to you. Um, we play Toronto Ultra, which is the first one. If we win that, we play the winner of. I believe thieves and somebody thieves and uh, uh, Boston. Mm. A lot of people are saying that Boston is looking good. Is looking good, but I think that they're doing that so that they can they can throw throw thieves off. Yeah, no, no. So no. they can so they can throw uh, like good good vibes towards a hundred thieves. I wonder if Ooh. Nature is going to show up to that one since it's in L.A. Mm. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> For the up. record, it's his pl- birthday, right? Yeah, his birthday. I'm going to be there. Like that's, that's, that's my bro. Um, I'm talking shit because that's my bro. Um, <laughs> happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, man. 30 years old with your old ass. I cannot Damn. wait. I cannot wait for you to be 40 because you're not going to look as good as this, brother. I guarantee you that. You're... I mean, it's not fair. <laughs> what? Because white, what is it called? White cracks a lot. What is it? What's the saying? Black no. don't crack. Black don't crack is the saying, but white. But if you're even, always if you're cracking. Like closer to dark, you crack, crack less. I, what I would say is we're we're crackers. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> uh, friendly fire, guys. That's what it's called. I feel like I've been cracking. Have oh, you? I've been, yeah. I've been no, cracking. I think, I think you're, you're, you're like skin. It skin's depends, skin's man. Good. Some days I'll wake up. Your bones crack. If I have like a fresh haircut. <laughs> no, just you're getting uglier is what we're saying. Oh. If I've been like dieting, fresh haircut, been working out, I'm like, you know what? I look pretty good. But then there's like other days I wake up and I'm like, like this is this. I'm falling down the hill. Yeah, bro. There's me every day, bro. This. <laughs> This <laughs> no good days, mm. <laughs> <laughs> bro. This rib is out of fucking. It has no I'm business. I'm telling you, no, I could it eat has the no whole business box. being this good. No, <laughs> it has no business being this good, dude. When they said fall off the boat before we were even shooting, I went to. I was eating one on the way to the trash can to throw the bone away, and it fell on the oh, floor. Like it like sucked the it whole fe- thing off. Li- <laughs> oh, I saw that on TikTok. <laughs> Bite it. <laughs> saw that on a TikTok. Or no, that's. And I didn't even eat it with the sauce. Mm. Look at this guy. He's just dipping He's it. He's in it, bro. I love it. Yeah, we're dieting. I Can't. love it. Sauce, Dude, do you, extra do you, calories. Do y'all get excited? Do you get excited for champs? Like before? Like to watch it for food and every stuff? day? No. As an ex-player? No. Not if I'm not playing. Yeah, I get that. I like kind of, at least when I was... I feel like that's the only event I do kind of care about. Yeah. Be like, yeah, I no, mean, that'd be sick to I get go. so... Like, I, mean, I, I do so care about it, but I like, really want them to win every match. Like, I'm, like, genuinely, like, keeping track yeah. of, like, not really the bracket. Just, like, did they win? Did they lose? Watch the watch the match. But if it's not champs, I, don't, I just act like I care. 
This can't be good for the gout, but last few years worth it. I mean, it's definitely years. different. Like when I played and we lost, I didn't give a shit about it. Okay. Like, no, I like didn't afterwards. Like, yeah, like after you lost, well, I didn't want to watch it all. Yeah, it's like no, if I, I wasn't that. winning, like oh uh, yeah, yeah, I don't no, give a fuck. I never watch tournaments, even when I was mm -hmm. competing. If I was knocked out, it would be often. <laughs> <laughs> I never watch the rest of the tournament. It'd be like, I don't know, immediately go drink or just hide away just go to my hotel run away to don't watch bar. anything i'm not staying there a lot of players used to like not sit there, there stay on main down. stage <laughs> like they'll watch the rest of the tournament and, uh, yeah i dip i wouldn't do that no nah. just thinking about like how i was in soccer like i wouldn't oh me either after i got Dude, I'm, I'm not i'm not a i'm not a good loser i'm not a <laughs> sore loser I'm just not a, I, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just don't want. When Optic's out of tournaments, you don't stay there and watch the rest Fuck of Fuck no, man. <laughs> no. Finger licking good. Is that, Is that good? Okay? Uh, I, I will say, I, I will say though, like, uh, I, I too also take um, champs a little bit too serious. And I know that I shouldn't because of who we are obviously teammates with. Especially during your guys' run where, with the Dynasty where... You guys were the most dominant team, but yet at the end of the year, one tournament determined that somebody else was the best team during the whole. That made no sense to me. Still to this day, doesn't make sense to it's me. Wi it, it's wild how COD works. You could dominate. Like I mean, look at FaZe. On top of their leaderboards, haven't won an event. Like that's so wild. You could dominate in all aspects except Sunday or except that weekend. And yeah. I mean, I guess it's like that in every competition, actually. But it, it just feels like it's more prominent in COD. Yeah, I mean... Kind of like BTH in 09. First event, <laughs> I think I got shit on. I wasn't even on the team. Second event, I didn't even go to. <laughs> you weren't even playing and got shit on? <laughs> Fuck were you doing? Well, I wasn't on BTH at the first event. Then I didn't even go to the next event. I was like, I'm retired. Like, I, I play basketball and stuff. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then, then I joined BTH. We get, like, top 12. Then we get six, and then we won that. And everyone's like, damn, BTH, one of the nastiest <laughs> Halo 3 teams in 09. But it was like, really? You the, weren't? Yeah. No. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, glad that, won. I'm glad that there's two more weeks of, of Vanguard. Actually, there might be more, because when does the game release? It's not like it's a fucking Switch. It's, it's not, it's as, like soon as, as soon as Champ is over, nobody's playing Vanguard. Oh, people, are, no. people are going to play MW 2019. People are going to play uh, challenges on, other, on, on throwback cause. It I happens like Warzone. Year. Or War. Yeah, well, Seth, Warzone, Seth will probably like Warzone play Warzone. is fine. Warzone, I mean, Seth said he wasn't going to play Warzone. He said he's not playing Warzone. I'm like, what? What the? Like, it's so. I mean, he'll good. find himself on Warzone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought, look, I, I, I'm, I'm having a really good time on Warzone. In fact, uh, I've gotten to the point to where I'm like, man, I got to take like a laptop or something that runs this game <laughs> smooth enough for me to be able to play while, while, while I'm in, in, my, in my room. Zonked out of my mind. Wait, they're obviously, they're bringing room. back that World Series of Warzone, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. I so don't know. If, I, I don't know the details, back. or I know the details. Or I can see the details in a sheet in my head, but I just don't know like the specifics. Can't recite them. Um, obviously, we um, we have to do the predictions. But I think, uh, do you have any any stories from champs um, that that you that stand out vividly in your mind? Just one story from from your days. Like, what's your favorite one? Like in terms of what. Just like a champs, I mean, you want when three of them. I think of Damon's fucking, brain, I don't I think know. stories. Yeah. yeah, like, you're asking my brain, he was dude. Like, the I'm first one to... was cool. <laughs> the second one was cool, too. The first one, you know, was pretty awesome. The second one <laughs> wasn't very good. And the third one was, like, fucking crazy, bro. Like, yo, that shit was lit. On oh, God. That's exactly what I, I will oh, say. No. <laughs> my story that I always tell is how. Oh, God. What? On God? No, oh no, God. no cap vibes only. That shit was not mid. Posse vibes only. <laughs> Second event was mid. Um, my my, uh, it was obviously the the one that we won, champs. But what led to that, right? Like the banana being found, like on a side quest. Like it was, it literally for me felt like a like a. You don't you don't know this story? Banana. Okay, so Damon wanted a banana. We sent D trees upstairs. There was no bananas. We sent them outside. There was no bananas. And here I am walking down this hallway. I looked to my left, and it was like a, a literal video game where I looked over to the to the side, and there's like a banana and an apple. And I'm like, I, re I pull out my phone because it's part of the vlog. I pull out my phone. I'm like, you guys are not gonna believe this. And I know that like the the it's not as crazy as it's, as it was to me, mm -hmm. but it was the nuttiest <laughs> shit fucking ever. I've never experienced something like that. The only other thing that I can I, I, I can I can think is. When I didn't want to touch this trophy, 
and I'm like, I'm not touching on the vlog, and I'm like, I'm not touching you until we win you tomorrow. And I didn't put that in the vlog, but when we won, I put it in the vlog. Ooh. That was that was that was <laughs> good. The E League one? Yeah, the E League one. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's that's a good one. Shout out, shout out that team, man. Still I have a champ story that's kind of corny. Um, I remember st I did it because it's just like these two guys were saying, like whenever we are out, I don't watch. I just genuinely don't don't. I usually don't watch. Um, but after Black Ops Three champs, everyone was so sad because of the whole like, uh, you know, thing that happened with C Nine. And um, so I, I watched on Sunday. I actually went and I just stood back and like everyone was, I was like up in the bleachers, like watch or whatever, like in the, like the Those nosebleeds bleeds, watching uh, Envy Wen. And I just remember being like so like salty, but I was just like soaked it in. I was like one day that's going to be fucking us because we hadn't won a chance at that time. No, I'll be and forever salty about that event. Everybody was so like... I don't even want to bring it up. People were so... Yeah, I mean, it's the, it is the saddest moment, like the, the, the most unfortunate tournament moment in Optic history yeah. is that moment. It was so sad. I mean... And then the next year we won champs. Yeah. <laughs> Crossroads into champs. I mean, I, I, I like it. Uh, anyway, uh, again, if you guys are interested in some delicious, delicious barbecue, Dickie's Barbecue has you covered. As I mentioned earlier, code GREENWELL will get you $5 off of a $25 or I don't understand and I don't know anybody that orders less than $25 worth of food. So you Dang. guys should be. So you guys should. You guys should be. You guys should be good. Uh, the bonus offer obviously is online exclusive uh, for the days during Call of Duty Champs, August fourth through seventh. Fans can get a brisket sandwich, a side, and a big yellow cup starting at nine ninety nine, or they can get the pulled pork sandwich and a big yellow cup for six ninety nine. I'm gonna throw it back to the desk. Uh, I'm gonna run over there really fast. I'm gonna be wearing something different, but my man, big timer, take it away. Okay, I welcome back to the Plausibly uh, Live Optic <laughs> Pre Show. Now we're talking about Champs preparation, and if we used to. Uh, hold on to any specific strats for champs. Wait, how, many, how many champs did you go to? Um, one. I can. One. One actual. Just champs. one. It's Codex, Codex P. That mm -hmm. counts. You oh, went yeah. one for one. Uh, yeah, he went one for one. That's what the goat. Yeah. Well, did no, you we, go one for one? We didn't win. Oh, oh no! no you you mean, we got play after 2013. God chance Black Ops two. We got. Wait, third. you went on that okay. team that won the Codex P. Yeah. 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 Oh, you were. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I, that was just a joke because that was not an actual. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's still a tournament. No, it is a tournament. I mean, it's still, yeah. It was. It's still a it, it, it was a million dollars. It's a fucking tournament. Yeah. Oh god. All right. Because yeah. if you're gonna talk about competition, yeah. then we, we can't talk about we did uh, play online online uh, <laughs> online championships. Like every time, every time my, 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 I, I wish Stro was here because you know, every time Stro's like, look at all these. He got like a list of 85 tournaments. Yeah, from <laughs> game, 85 gold uh, trophies on game battle. Yeah, 2v2 one indents. Wait, how yeah. much did you win from that, Will? <laughs> from what? XP? Uh, 100K. 100K. Yeah. Oh, you were on the team that accepted the three piece round 11? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. He got the three because I got the first one, the entry mm -hmm. guild. Mm -hmm. That was like really important because it was 4v4. Oh, yeah, yeah I, got, I got that one. Yeah. I like that. It was on the map like with that. like the I train side or the bus sideways right yeah, there. Yeah, well, I don't remember what that map was. It we was played it like map. super early on in the game, but then. We just talked about it. We, yeah, you, yeah, we did. Aftermath. Aftermath, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah we did just talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy fuck. My brain just got. Aftermath. Dude, that's crazy. Who'd you guys lose to after that? Envy? For Rico. Oh, for Rico. Yeah. For Rico. For Rico Impact. Lost to kill. Kill a mirror. That was a gross team. That was a gross team. They were pretty good. They were good, team. yeah. They had they were like the skill level was pretty far. Who, with them. Dude, what listen, this this my, my, my biggest thing is like you should have been on that team over uh yo, you, I felt that wind. When you, I, I, I meant to do I've been doing it that way, I fucked that yeah, what up. Yeah, what the fuck? That was my bad. <laughs> Yeah, I felt that, that way. That was my shit be God damn. That's on me. That's on if me. I get monkeypox, everybody here knows where it's at. Continue your thought. Oh, right to the Frisco Police Department. Uh, you should have been. You should have been on on that Farico team with with uh, me uh, instead of Haggy. Just like from a vibe standpoint, like there was there wouldn't have been a funnier team ever if you guys were on that. The team. Optic Nation team was pretty goddamn. Funny. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> Optic Nation yeah, team, but 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 team. then you had Karma. Uh, I guess the same one. Rick. Yeah, Ricky, Rick and Ricky it was all. a perfect dynamic for yeah. the team, dude. Just having him in the background. I was just, for some reason I was just thinking about the shit he used to say. He's so funny. <laughs> yeah, he's good. You know, the he's, argument is, oh my he, he, God. they just won a championship. And what's up, champ? He's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, every time I say, what up, big dick Rick? He says a little smirk. Yeah, he's like, what's up? <laughs> Yo. Uh, so anyway, aside from that, any any uh, specific preparations that you guys did? Like, what, what, like, how did you mentally prepare going in there? Uh, 
I didn't really do anything different. Any the thing is, everyone else does something different. And that's why it makes it easier. Any superstitions? Just tweaking. <laughs> did you did, did you have uh, superstitions? No. Did you plan have any superstitions, Pose? No. Super no super no superstitions no. Yeah. I tried to be like as comfortable as possible. I'd wear like you sweatpants because I'd you... wear sweatpants at home. I'd sit oh, yeah. like it's cross legged. Yeah, yeah. crisscross applesauce. You yeah. said crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Criss -cross applesauce. Fuck? He From... won championships playing what criss -cross the fuck? I'd actually lose full if I looked over and saw that. <laughs> right. We're down 0-2 and he's like over on just fucking crisscross applesauce. I'm like the fuck. I tried it myself. <laughs> now nah, we wouldn't do anything different though. I was talking to Ray about this. I felt like the old games, like the pro teams, you were all trying to do the same thing. There was one way to like play the game optimally, and you just knew it was just who could like do it enforce better. their will on the other team. But now apparently, it's not like that at all. And like people play the game differently from different spots and like try to control different things. So I don't know. Maybe some people these days change uh, change the strats. Yeah. What's that? Uh yeah. Oh, it used to be a straight line. Vanguard. That's the coach Rambo in the background saying there was, it's all, mm. it's all curvy now. It's all Fugazi. Yeah. So Scump's tenth champs started oh, yeah. in Black Ops Two. This is like his he, for a decade. He's been insane. playing champs. That's insane. For a decade, he's been That's playing insane. champs. That is commendable. The young boy is a man now. Damn. Once, That's, once he, insane. That's insane. Once he wins it, call him a man. Yeah, yeah, no, he's gonna win it again, a hundred percent. Got it. He got the double eye going. Yeah, he's got the double eye. Right. He's going in a scumpy, not scum. I like that. All no right. scumper jumper, just straight old school. Just straight scumpy. old school scump. He's not gonna cut his nails. He's gonna be right in there. If he showed up in pajamas, yeah. Ooh, those flannels. Him and Illy. It'd be game time. Oh, game time, dude! It'd be it'd be it'd be done. Uh, only one series on on Sunday. Grand Finals is a best of nine match. How do you feel about that? Like, did, would you rather have like matches before that and then yeah? yeah? Whack is only one match. Like a winners finals into a finals, like that type of day. Like you should have like four matches on Sunday. Wait, they're doing the same thing where the winners bracket team doesn't have an advantage going dude, in. It's just yeah, a fresh. I don't get that that's either. the dumbest shit. Like it almost benefits the team that goes through losers because yep. they're more warm in there. They're and they're playing just, more like, often. They're hot. Yep. Like, they yeah. just yeah, played, yeah, yeah. and they, now that now they're vibing, now they're feeling it. You know what I'm saying? You forgot about the winners' finals. And match. you got to wake up and then play a grand finals on Sunday. You better be like, coming no. different. They should. They should. They should. They should. That sucks. I, I'm okay with best of nine, but they should give them. They should give them the first map. They should I start. still don't even like that, dude. It's no, like, that's yeah. just trolly at just, that point. What do you start with a search? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Then it's just weird. Like you lost, and we get the same. I don't know. I just feel like it's got to be two best of fives, definitely. and you got to lose twice if you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, literally a double yeah. elimination tournament. How do yeah. you make it to the yeah, finals? How do you, yeah. how do you switch it at the very end? Anyway, this hopefully this this next season it improves, man, because yeah, I am shit, up to my ears. Um, so yeah, I, I I don't know how I feel about that either. It just doesn't feel like Call of Duty. Just having one match in the end, like even as a spectator. Yeah. You know, you're there the whole weekend. You you want to see a couple of matches, a best of nine matches. I mean, it's as 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 fun as it's going to be, and as much as you should tune in to watch. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not the same. Final thoughts on the Vanguard season. I personally look. I um. I had fun playing the game that I was playing. Even in the beginning, I had a lot of fun playing uh, some some game battles matches. I was dropping thirteens on the reg on Tuscan. That was my map. <laughs> you know what I mean? I used to play the, my music the second that I was reg. about to clutch. Huh? On the reg. On the reg. Mm -hmm. On the reg, top church with the snipe. No, nah, I don't. I don't snipe. Man. It's unfair when I do that shit. So I just use <laughs> right. an MP40. Okay. I, I'm just that that that's that's that explosive player, high caliber, high sensitivity. You know what I mean? I'm <laughs> yes. just in tune at all times Dude. with my with my skills. Got that. Got that. Dude, I, I've listened to you say all this, and the only time I like watched you play SD was like in Cold War. <laughs> yeah. When you were just crouching around and played. No. And that's I all it was Burger Walk. Right right what? In Cold War? <laughs> no, like I'm, that's the only last thing I saw. No, we played together Old Men of Optic, and I, I, I made you laugh yeah. when I was pressing the music. And then I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, I, but that's, I, that's two I, years ago. I, I pressed the about. music, and I popped Daddy, and I was just like... <laughs> I look like that. that I look like that. Uh, clip, that, that Asian dude on, on fucking TikTok. That's so I can running fast as fuck. <laughs> oh, with all the coins. Yeah, what else? Yeah. You know what I thought about? That's yeah. how I looked. Fucking popped that. All the Reddit just... fucking TikToks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. How explosive and shit. Picture you walking around playing your stuff. <laughs> no, uh, just just for the record, I've never ever not sprinted everywhere. I've never crouched. So I don't. Know what the you must have been watching somebody else. I must have. Been, like, <laughs> I never <laughs> crouch. Ask, yeah. ask my teammates. They hate it. You I don't never do the crouch. burger walk. No, dude, I'm I'm sprints, kid. <laughs> so I'm an ambush predator. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like I'm just, 
<laughs> oh man. Anyway, uh, let's go into the predictions. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's go. Uh, let's no, let's, let's talk to everything. let's talk to my man Rambo, and then we'll come back and then we'll do predictions and closing comments. I want to hear from the coach. Pardon the interruption, but I wanted to give you guys a hello from sunny California and also the home of Call of Duty Champs this year. I uh, wanted to give a, a special announcement that this upcoming August 14th, which is Optic Day, as you guys all know, and you guys know the story why I won't get into it, but I wanted to say that on August 14th, which is Optic Day 2022, not only are you guys going to have the opportunity to buy some new exclusive merchandise, but we've partnered with Belonged Arenas to do two meetups, one in Dallas, we'll give you guys a, a, a date after, and also one in Chicago. I'm not going to say which city in Chicago and I'm not going to say which city in Dallas, surrounding areas we're going to be in. You're going to have to click the link in the description down below to go find out which ones. But it is, again, next weekend, Sunday, August 14th, Optic Day 2022, exclusive merch, cool meetups. See you there. What's up, guys? We got a little one-on-one -on -one with the with the coach Ray Rambo Johnson. That's your last name, right? Yeah. Apparently, I'm uh, I'm Big T's brother. <laughs> um. So, man, what a year! What a year it has been. The big one is coming up, and that's the one you said you from day one. That's this is the one you care about. That's always been the uh, the goal from the start of the year, like you said. Yeah. Uh, we've we've been through a lot this year. What is, a year, it's dude! It's been wild. A lot of a very big up to start, and then a lots of down since, and uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll finish the year in a high, you know? Yeah. I mean, how is, uh, it seems like the, the boys are looking a little bit more, um, at least what I hear from scrims and stuff, it seems like they're getting a little bit more comfortable as a four again. I don't know if that's yeah. the case. So, I mean, obviously for those who haven't watched, uh, we won the first major and then during major two and after major two, Ender was injured for the better of like two months, two and a half months. Uh, yeah. so we were kind of, we had a little roster dilemma yeah. going on. We played with Jordan for an event and we got pro Lou coming in. And both of them were extremely good players, but obviously not our four. And, and there's a huge part of our of our vocal communication in game. Yeah. Um, so losing that and getting used to playing without it for a while had other players step up in certain cases. And then when he came back, it was like you would think it would be like kind of just the mesh again, but it took it took a minute. So it took a minute. so we yeah. we finally got some good practice in since Toronto, and uh, we've been playing pretty good since. So I'm That's hoping good. things transpire in the event. That's good. And um, so when you guys when you guys are going through scrims and stuff, is it uh, you running full sets of S and Ds and and respawns and everything, or more more so respawns? Uh, okay. Our weaknesses in Toronto were very much respawn, anyways. Like our search was looking really good, and obviously we've been practicing some search, but not putting too much focus on it. We okay. like where that's at. Okay, it's more so like how can we go into a series giving ourselves the best chance to make search worthwhile? Yeah, because um, the two the the series we lost, actually the, series, the one series we lost against Atlanta Phase in Toronto was just not winning a single respawn. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's kind of been the focus. Our controls looking really good again. We've we've kind of gone back to our roots and made a lot of kind of good communicational differences as to what we had before. We were kind of on different pages, mm -hmm. um, and our controls have been looking incredible in scrims, which is. That was our forte at the start of the year. Yeah. So now if we get to a spot where we could win at least one of the two hard points in the series, I'm I'm really liking our chances. Of the chance. So we're getting, are we are we going to be kings of, kings of Tuscan again? I hope so. But okay. we got to be kings of more than one map. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, thing that's now. true. Um, so Toronto, you don't know where we're playing yet. Don't even think about it. <laughs> hey, uh, so you got a ton of props that uh, the first event when we, whenever we won the uh, the first major. Yeah. And then uh, you got a bunch of flack this last major because we kept playing Boke. How, yeah, so do, how do you how do you deal with it? It's actually funny because I felt like me and Troy had a bigger involvement, like as coaches. I'm not yeah. defending anything here, but it's more so less coaches. We had a bigger involvement in our, our process about vetoes at the start of the year. Okay. But since we gone through that kind of like low part where confidence was kind of lacking and our map pool wasn't as strong with our subs, right? A lot of it came down to what the players are comfortable playing. So it's not so much about like like preparing for a team specifically or yeah, like. Yeah. Like, what can we play to give us the best chances? Like, really, what do we feel comfortable playing? And that's kind of been the the voice and discussion within behind the scenes uh, ever since the inner thing happened. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah. we're hoping going into champs that our map pool is strong enough to where we can just go back to our old roots, where we can just play whatever. Play whatever. Whatever is going to give us the best chance to win the, the series, regardless of what we feel like, is what yeah. we should play. That's kind of where it started here, and it kind of, again, regressed to something that's not as beneficial and kind of leads to a lot of bocages. Yeah, a uh, lot we definitely of got a lot of flag. But yeah, again, everything comes down to like, like ultimately, like as coaches, we're here to make the players comfortable. Whatever yeah. they like, we don't want to go into a matching. We probably should play this, but like, I don't want to play this. I don't feel comfortable. Like, like regardless yeah. if that's the right thing or not to do, if the players aren't comfortable, then there's no point, right? And yeah. the players felt really comfortable playing bocage because it's got a lot of reps on it. We play it in con continuous matches. So regardless how good or bad it looked, that's what the players really felt. So yeah, but going to champs, we're hoping that's a little different. Good man, good. And uh, as of today, 
uh, as the as we're filming this, this is the last day of online uh, Vanguard. My- How are you feeling, man? You've gone through a whole year. <sighs> That summarizes most of it. That summarizes that. It, it's, it's there's a lot to kind of talk about once the season's over about like Vanguard itself and all the kind of difficulties of online play and all that stuff. Like obviously, like like as player and as coaches, people were involved in esports. Like we would rather have everything be on land, right? This yeah. Kind of, yeah, the, yeah. but it, reality is, is that's not what's going to be the case, especially not for practice. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a tough year in a lot of regards, but hey, we're looking to finish off strong regardless and uh, show what we got. Good. All right. Well, that's been a, a little quick interview with with Ray. It seems like everything's going well, so it should be smooth sailing. It's <laughs> it's it's Vanguard at the end of the day. Okay, I've said this many times before. It's probably the most difficult Call of Duty ever to be consistent at. Yeah, there's never been a, there hasn't been a repeat winner. That's all year. Six years, six six tournaments, six, six tournaments, six winners. six winners. That's kind of crazy. And yeah, it just. Yeah. But there will be a repeat winner come champs. Hopefully so. <laughs> all right, back to you, desk. And we are back. I mean, the insight from the coach, man. I mean, I, I love to hear it. That sort of that sort of behind the scenes content is what you want to see. I was getting a haircut uh, uh, from from a man Turo, and he's like, he's like, "Yo, I was watching the process. It felt like um, like those those fight uh, documentaries before the HBO fights. Yeah. What were they called? Um, uh, ring resumes. They got fucking." I don't know, oh, inside the ring saying or some shit? Inside no, the yeah, ring? you can. You can. Outside the um, ring? Some yeah, inside, yeah. No, Showtime. It's, yeah, something. Some it's like behind. It's like, yeah, it, anyway. Like so that. I'm like, cool. So that's that's what I'm talking about. That's that's the level of stuff that we're doing here. So super happy about that. I don't want to go into predictions. I think that the tournament is going to dictate how this thing is going to go. And I don't want to give it any sort of extra thought. I don't want to sit here and say, this is, team is going to win over that one. Because I just want to not put anything out into the air. We were talking about predictions earlier and whether or not you were superstitious. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm superstitious, but I am a little stitious. So All I'm saying is if I, if I was the con team and then I were to hear us predictions, I'd be pissed. Mm-hmm. Like, I would just be mad. Okay, so let's not do it. We're not going to do it for the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, because of the importance. Just let's, let's see what happens. It's, champ, it's champs, bro. It's Better champs. come different. It's Any champs. closing comments? Last, uh, last uh, pre-show mm. of the season. Let's go uh, out, Dick. No, I mean, yeah, you know, man. Vanguard... So, We'll, co- we'll call it a successful season, but ready to ready to move on. See the next uh, game, Warzone Two, Modern Warfare Two. I think it'll be a good uh, two years. So can't wait. I'm gonna be an S and D kit yep. again. <laughs> I see him laughing at me. All right, we'll see you guys next time. First link in the description. Tell them who sent you. Enjoy the rest of the tournament and the weekend. We'll see you guys next season. Peace. 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 Out. <laughs>